Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the second act of Kalidasa's Avigyanam Shakuntalam. This act is entitled The Concealment of Telling. I will discuss the title later on. However, here in this slide we will discuss the scene and the characters involved in this act. The scene is the forest where the hermitage of Kanva is there. The main characters involved in this act are Madhavya, the jester of the king, Dusanta, the king himself, the guard, the general, two ascetics, and the royal messenger. Now we will discuss the significance of the title. The title is entitled as The Concealment of Telling. So what is the concealment? The fact that the king has a serious liking towards Sakuntala is concealed. Who concealed the fact? The king concealed the fact. And whom is the fact concealed from? The admiration of Shakuntala is concealed firstly from Madhavya and indirectly from the people at the royal court by the king. Now we will discuss the storyline in this act. Madhavya is seen to be complaining about leading life at the forest without proper rest hygienic water and delicious food. Madhavya the jester, jester is habituated to lead his life at the royal place. So he can be seen uh, complaining about his life at this forest. Madhavya is seen to sit in a crooked position to let the king believe that he is in a deplorable condition in the forest. The king on the other hand was seen to be musing about his love and condition, believing that there might be an equal feeling of longing inside Sakundala for Dushanta. Madhavya, when confronts the king, saluted him, but he also chastised the king for carrying on the chase after game. Her game means her wild animals and birds, leaving the king's duty at the court. The king also wanted to stop the hunting expedition to get maximum time to cherish Sakuntala. Actually, the jester is habituated to lead his life at royal place, but he has to live in the forest because the king is in this forest. The king had a strong liking for Sakuntala. And he also thinks that Sakuntala might have a feelings for Dushanta. Therefore, he, he kept his uh, camp at the forest to get maximum time to cherish Sakuntala. Now, being in the forest, Madhavya, the jester, had to lead a life of a forester. It made him complain about his life to the king. He wanted the king to stop his game the king, for getting some rest. On the other hand, the king wanted to stop the chasing of the game to get maximum time to enjoy the sight of Sakuntala. Now, the king asked his general to stop the chase for predators on the pretext to keep the tranquility of the areas near the hermitage. When Madhavya asked the king to stop the chase, the king also agreed to this proposition. He called the general to stop the chase of after game on the pretext that he does not want to disturb the tranquility of the forest near the hermitage. Madhavya and the king went to the shadow of the nearest grove after giving order to the, to the general that he should stop the chase. The king and Madhavya, after going to the grove, started to glorify the beauty of Shakuntala. The king wanted to know, want, wanted to let Madhavya know the beauty of Shakuntala, so he started to praise Shakuntala's beauty. From the conversation, Madhavya could feel that the king has a great inclination towards Shakuntala. The king asked Madhavya to make a plan that might bring an opportunity for them to enter the hermitage. In the meantime, while they were discussing plans to go to the hermitage, 
the guard announced the presence of two cardinals at the gate, asking permission to meet the king. The hermits came to the king to ask him to guard the hermitage from the attack of the demons for some days while the hermits would perform some sacred holy rites. The hermits in the hermitage were afraid that while they were they will do some sacred rites, the demon would attack them and disturb their uh, process of holy rites. So they asked the king to guard him. The king took this opportunity to enter the hermitage to see Sakuntala. Therefore, the king accepted the appeal of the hermits willingly. The king was going to take Madhavya with him to the hermitage so that Madhavya also could appreciate the beauty of Sakuntala. However, in the meantime, the uh, news bearer from the royal mother came. The news bearer told the king that the royal mother had taken fast known as the safeguarding on of son's succession and the mother would break her fast on the fourth day. It was the wish of his mother, that is the king's mother, that on the fourth day when the when she would break her fast, the king should be present by his mother's side. Struggling between filial duty and royal duty, the king made the plan to send Madhavya at his place to his mother. His mother, he seems, he believes actually, that his mother loved Madhavya and the king equally. Therefore, in the place of the king, Madhavya could do the right of a son. To serve, but the king believes that if Madhavya goes to the court, he will threaten the secret of the king's liking towards Sakuntala before the ladies of the palace. Therefore, to stop Madhavya from prattling the king's interest in Sakuntala, he professed that his admiration of the hermitage girl, hermit girl, sorry, was a mere whim. It was not serious on his part, and there is no, uh, there is no possible connection could happen between the king and the hermit girl. So, therefore, to conceal the king's liking towards Sakuntala, the king made a false, uh, the king actually um, concealed this fact from Madhavya and indirectly from the people at the royal court. So this is the end of this act. Please like, comment and give suggestion on this video. Thank you.